The genesis of Echo Barriers was a requirement on a site and we couldn't find any suitable temporary acoustic barriers that met our requirements. So as a technical bod, I decided there had to be a better way and it took six months of development to get where we are today. Looks deceptively simple, but in terms of creating an innovative product that's both very, very good on the noise side, but also extremely practical on site. Some of the key innovations in the, uh, the barriers are, the, apart from the weight, which means that in terms of manhandling, one person can put up 50 metres of barrier in a reasonably short period of time, whereas with conventional barriers it might take three or four people to do the same. There's several patents pending in the design. One of the key ones is the fact that we have very high performance acoustic absorption, high tech materials, that whilst they absorb the sound, they don't absorb any water. This is unique, so that when they've left them out in the rain for a while, they still perform, don't weigh anymore, and don't make a mess when you take them down or when you store them. The main applications for Echo Barriers are very varied. Initially, they were designed for rail maintenance, which they have to put barriers up very fast at night and take them down again in the morning. But that's obviously a good idea if you're doing temporary works on roads, if you're doing um, anything that you're going to have to install and remove in a, in a short period of time, but also for more permanent installations over longer periods, such as scaffolding. Being a very light product, it can also be fitted very happily to scaffolding and also to, to shows of various kinds like events, as well as the industri more industrial construction demolition markets as well. Looks are very important in this market because it looks right, it looks as though it's attenuating the noise. Subjectively, it would appear to perform much better than a bland black or grey barrier that doesn't tell you what it's doing. Echo barriers look the part, and it's a very interesting area of the psychology attached to the perception of noise nuisance from things like breakers, which, let's face it, extremely annoying noise. But we found that if you put it in front of a high-level noise source, if you put something in front of it that looks fairly vague and indiscriminate, then you get more complaints than if you put something that looks as though it's designed for the job and tells you that it's designed for the job. So technically that improves performance of the barrier in a psychological way by a factor of two or three. On the noise side of the barrier, we have this mesh protecting a very high-tech acoustic absorbent foam. This is patent pending and the only technology available at the moment to give waterproof foam that soaks up sound without soaking up water. To the end user who just wants to reduce the noise coming from their site or their activities, you may think, well, a barrier is a barrier is a barrier. A lot of the barriers have very similar performance to ours. The key things, though, are the practicalities on site. As a user, you need less people to put the barriers up because they weigh less than half the amount of conventional barriers. Also, we have some custom-designed hooks, which are unique, which allows one person to fit and remove the barriers incredibly fast, probably 70 or 80% quicker than any other barrier. So on site, you need less staff to install and remove. It's much more convenient and quicker, so you don't get a pile of barriers left because they're just too much hassle to put up. They're actually used. Plus, the fact that they're completely waterproof, which again is unique, means you don't get all the problems associated with carrying water into your van, into your truck, and into your warehouse. The Echo barriers you see here are the first in a whole range of novel products that we're going to be releasing over the next few months.